Hey guys, so here is an example of Tiny and Kane. This is a Casablanca Four Seasons that has gone through a lot of open heart surgery in order to get working again. It is first generation IntelliTouch. Uh, and other than the glass, it's exactly how I got it. It even comes with a fan lifter, which is some weird abomination that Casablanca made before they invented the LCA or low ceiling adapter. But it does work. And this came from eBay. I overpaid because that's what happens when I see fans with cane or stencil blades that are Casablanca. But it wasn't too bad, and I'm really glad that it works. This has new bearings and a new board. You can run it through demo mode if you want. Yeah. So it's from April of 1984, which means that it's a really early first generation IntelliTouch unit. And these are extremely prone to failure. The light part of it actually still works just fine, it's the original one but the board was completely shot. Um, and this has a spare board from the 1986 Panama 5 that I have. I ended up just parting that one out because um, I wanted to have, I wanted this to have its original electronics just because it is first year. So that Panama might just get upgraded to a different version of IntelliTouch or remote or something. As expected, this is very powerful. It sounds even crazier when it has uh, these cane blades. It just like whips the air around. So this came with the standard Cosmoca floral shades. I just don't have them with me right now. So I don't even know where these came from, but they look okay. This would probably look better if it had um, amber glass or something like that. I think amber glass would look great on this. I just go right to speed two. Yeah, speed one is, it tries to work. <laughs> so it's... It ends up stalling out. Yeah, it ends up stalling out after a while, so it's probably gone bad. Um, but speed two works, and it still goes pretty decently slow. Yeah, you could dim it a little bit and then you could turn off the overhead lights if you want. <laughs> so yeah, what else, what else about this thing? There's a, it's just, you don't see Casablanca cane very often at all. Yeah, you definitely don't. Especially in the short variety. This thing was also loaded with dust. It was one of the dirtiest fans I've ever seen inside the motor housing. Filled with thick dust and dead bugs. Yep. I have a theory that this was used nonstop when it was installed because the bearings were still free moving, but they screeched like a train. I'm gonna go to speed three. <laughs> I think they only finally got rid of it once it stopped working properly. The original board was almost completely dead. It sometimes it would cycle through demo mode, but then other times nothing would even power on. Yeah. The whole thing was just weird, and then the light would dim down. Which it really, it's not supposed to do unless it's on demo mode. Oh, and somebody cut the original crossbar screws. Let me see if I can find For some reason. So they don't even fit on this electrical box. That's the, hang, the screw there. Yeah, oh you can, and... I don't know. Something weird was definitely going on with this being on this low ceiling adapter, whatever. Oh, so I'm going to show the original board. Okay. I'll put it right here. This is the original board. Nothing really looks burnt other than that one resistor right there. Other than that, there's nothing obviously burnt. But this board has completely failed. It's got a big black mark right there. Yeah. An electronic board is only as strong as its weakest component, so if one thing goes, it's like a chain reaction. This is V4.
Yeah, you get a lot of air from this if you stand like directly underneath it, but it doesn't really distribute air that well. Yeah. I I'm not sure if it's because of the because it just doesn't wobble or because of the the mounting system, but this does not wobble whatsoever. And one of the blades is the wood itself is bent up. So I feel like it should wobble, but it just doesn't, so it's fine with me. Usually with these fan lifters, it, they prevent wobble quite a bit. Whereas if this were on a hanger ball, it would probably shake around. And this is speed five. And full power, speed six. And there it goes. <laughs> It's amazing the lengths collectors would go to to restore a Casablanca fan just because it is Casablanca. <laughs> if it was some other like junk thing, it, I bet it just would have been like thrown out instead of doing all this extra work. It needed quite a bit, but it was definitely worth it in my opinion. Oh yeah, certainly. The other thing is that it seems that depending on what control you use with it or flick mode or just something about it, it would the board would act differently. Like it's acting totally normal right now. But when we first powered it up with the new board, it was freaking out and the beeper was like I took a video of it, but the beeper was just going crazy for some reason. And this did come with a its own W eleven, which we're not using. Um, but the light button doesn't retract, if that makes sense. Like, if you push it to one side, it'll never go back to the other side. I had a W11 that did that. It just needed some WD-40, and then it works just fine. One more look at it. And let me get a side view of that warp blade, which is actually this one right here. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit up there. And the, we didn't put the hatch on because in order to get it back off, you just can't even get a screwdriver in there. You'd have to use just like a screwdriver bit. Yeah, and I, since this will be taken down as soon as this video is over, it didn't seem worth it. It really makes sense why they switched over to the LCA because this is just not practical. Yeah, I think that's I, it. I think that's a wrap for this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.